Hi, I'm Brian Fonville with Central National Bank, and for the next few minutes we're going to talk about cookies and cash, but probably not the kind of cookies and cash that you're accustomed to. Sometimes one of the easiest and quickest ways to troubleshoot issues with a website is to delete your web browser's cookies and cash. That's cash, C-A-C-H-E, and cookies, C-O-O, -O well, you know how to spell cookies. A cookie is a small text file stored on your computer from a website that stores information about your connection to the website server. Now cookies aren't necessarily a bad thing. In fact, they oftentimes make browsing even better by allowing a server to recall any customized information you may have set, such as user IDs. Similarly, web browsers are designed to download information off of web pages and store that information in a place on your computer called the cache. So when you visit a web page again, instead of downloading everything again from the web server, the browser loads the page locally from the cache, and this creates for a much faster load time of the page. But it can also mean that sometimes your browser displays older versions of web pages, and that can be a problem. So with all this cookie talk, you can either pause the video right now and go take a quick cookie break, or we can keep rolling along and show you how to delete your web browser's cookies and cache. First, we'll start with Internet Explorer. For this, we're using Internet Explorer 10. You're going to select Tools under the red X and then Internet Options. It pulls up this window. You're going to move your cursor down until you see Browsing History and then select Delete. All of our boxes are checked, which is what we want to see. We're going to select Delete one more time and we're going to get a pop-up at the bottom of the window telling us when it's finished. When you see that, you can hit OK and then go down here and close this little pop-up window. Close your browser down completely using the red X and then open a new session and you should be good to go. So for Safari on Macs, you want to go to the top and select Safari and then Preferences. You've got all these tabs to choose from. You want to make sure that Privacy is selected and then select Remove All Website Data. Then you want to click Remove and it's removed the data so you're going to close the window and then close out Safari and open a new session. So for Mozilla Firefox, here's how you'll delete your browsing history. You'll move your cursor up at the top, select Firefox, and then Preferences. Again, you have these tabs to choose from. You want to make sure Privacy is selected. Then move your cursor down and select Clear Your Recent History. Here you'll have a number of options to choose from. The default should be fine. Uh, but then you'll also have a time period. You want to make sure that you select everything. It gives you a nice warning message, but you're going to go ahead and select Clear and then close this window out, close your Firefox session, open a new session, and you're good. For Google Chrome, it's actually a little bit different, but uh, you're going to go to the top with your cursor and select Chrome, then go down to Clear Browsing Data. You want to make sure that these boxes are selected, and you've also got a date range to pick from. You want to make sure that you pick the beginning of time, go down Clear Browsing Data, and then you want to close down your Google Chrome browsing session, open a new browsing session, and you should be good to go. And that's how the cookie crumbles. If you're still having problems, please contact our customer service department. That's a wrap. Whew, man, this cookie looks amazing. Oh my god. So good. You're not still recording, are you? Did you stop recording? Why are you recording this? Turn it off.